one nibble and you're hobnobbled today on Walking the Candy Aisle. Hey guys, Jeff here with a review of Hobnobs. That's right, McVitie's Hobnobs have finally made their way onto the channel. Um, so McVitie's is a uh, Scottish uh, biscuit company. Really, I guess it's what they're best known for is their biscuits, right? The McVitie's Digestive Biscuits uh, are like amazing, aren't they? Have you guys ever had those? They're so good. Um, they make a, a biscuit also called Hobnobs, which is, um, which is just fantastic. Really, really good. Um, and this is, I guess this is the Hobnobs bar. Um, cause I'm used to Hobnobs coming in like biscuits, like around, like a cookie, right? You would, we would call it. Um, but I, I think this is the bar and this is a dipped in chocolate. Also, it's a flapjack with milk chocolate. So this, what this is, is actually, this is okay. A flapjack. <laughs> There's a lot of I gotta unpack this. It takes a little while, guys. Okay, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna review this and get into it. It's a rolled oats, ba rolled oats. So a flapjack is like a cereal bar, right? It's just another name for it. I think that's what I don't know. People from the UK would call it a cereal bar. Um, so it's a rolled oats bar, uh, but then it's baked with hobnobs, hobnobs like you know registered hobnobs biscuit pieces, which is their McVitie's famous. Uh, biscuits. I think it's the most popular biscuit in the UK. Um, and then it's topped with milk chocolate. So then it's like enrobed, I'm guessing, or just maybe topped. Maybe it's just topped with milk chocolate. I got this in the UK. Um, but uh, some Hobnobs products, some ho Hobnobs and uh, other some other McVitie's products, not all of them, are available where I live here in Canada. Um, right, quality guarantee, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, healthy balance. Okay. So, yeah, and then it is also, what is this? High in fiber? No fiber? What is it? Fiber. It's just a source of fiber, I guess. It is a source of fiber. <laughs> that is a thing. Sure. Okay. Anyways, um, this is it. Hobnobs. It's kind of a weird packaging, huh? Right? Like, what's up with that? I guess that's the chocolate coming, or I don't, I'm not totally sure. I don't know. Let's get into it, guys. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So, the, ah, I see. I see. Okay. Wow, this feels really dense. This feels like a, like a power bar or something, you know? Like it's like heavy. Look at, look at how, look at how, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is like real densely packed, like, like this would be something that you'd want to chew on for a while. So it is just topped with milk chocolate. Now, I don't know if I'm sure if it's just hobnobs themselves. I know hobnobs themselves come in different varieties like um, orange or uh, dark chocolate. Um, I'm not sure if these, I guess this is the bar form, right? Come This hobnobs flapjack with milk chocolate. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess that's the bar form. So this is the, um, it's got, it's probably, it's more like an oat bar, I think, but it has hobnob pieces in it and then chocolate on top. So let's give it a try. Yep, that is dense. You can have this as a candy or like a cookie or like like a granola bar, like a, like a you know a muesli or a cereal bar. For my money, it tastes like mostly like rolled oats. Like good rolled oats. Very dense. Like, um, I'm trying to think what an equivalent is. Most of the, um, you know, American or Canadian bars that I'm more used to eating, like um, cereal bars, are actually pretty light. Because if you want something heavy and dense, you're going to get like a power bar or a cliff bar, which are just positioned very differently. But I believe Hobnobs is really like, you know, it's like a, it's like an afternoon snack you have with your tea. You know, you 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 want to dunk it in in a cup of tea. This is not something I would dunk in a cup of tea. This is not a cookie though, so I guess maybe that's apples to oranges. You know, it's pretty good, but it is pretty um, it's pretty thick. It reminds me of like a um. 
like a like a really dense oatmeal cookie. That's what it tastes like, honestly. It tastes like an oatmeal cookie topped with a little bit of chocolate. The chocolate's just an accent. It's really not the main the main star of the show here. It's mainly the oatmeal. Um, and it's good, but you know, <laughs> it's good guys, but like, how good is an oatmeal cookie ever? <laughs> is it ever as good as a chocolate chip cookie? For my money, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is okay. Wouldn't you rather just get a regular hobnobs? Why, why do you need the oatmeal in here? Why do you want the cereal bar element of it? Is it, is this positioned like, cause you know, cereal bars, muesli bars, whatever you want to call them. Um, here they're positioned mostly as like, a quick fix, quick pick me up, a snack, or sometimes even a breakfast sort of a sort of a supplement, right? Um, like a Nutrigrain is what I'm thinking of, uh, or um, what's it called? Nature Valley, the Nature Valley brand. Um, but uh, the I don't know, like maybe I don't I don't really know what the what the what the target for this is. I guess maybe that's it. Like, what is this? bar trying to trying to achieve where is it trying to be in the marketplace is this supposed to be like something you'd eat with your have with your your you know afternoon tea i don't think so i think it's too heavy i think you'd rather just have a regular hobnob biscuit um or you know some digestives but uh but it's not candy enough to be candy it's not dense enough to be like a like a like a, I need uh, I need calories to keep me going on my hike, but it seems a little too dense to be like a, like a breakfast thing. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it could be a breakfast thing. Maybe you could have this instead. Like oh, I gotta run out the door. I'm late for work. I grab a hobnobs. But if that's the case, then this is not a healthy version of that, right? This is not like a high pack energy. You know. Uh, peanuts and I mean the oats are good I guess but uh, this is too close to a cookie to be that so so what is this I don't know it's not bad tasting but I don't know when people are eating this I don't know maybe that's something you guys can let me know down in the comments when do you, when do you like to eat something like this when would you eat something like this? Do you eat something like this? For me, it's fine. Like, it tastes good. But um, I just don't totally get uh, when I would want it, ever, really. Anyway, so I'm going to give uh, the McVitie's Hobnobs Flapjack with Milk Chocolate, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Totally fine. Taste is, taste is pretty good. You know, like, like I said, it's really like an oatmeal cookie. That's what it tastes like. But... Um, you know, I'd probably rather have something else. <laughs> I guess that's where that's where I land on it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you've had this, if you have any other thoughts, or if I got anything wrong about this, I don't know. Let me know. I, I'd love to hear from you guys and your experience with the McVitie's brand and Hobnobs in particular. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Click the links if you'd like to see more reviews, and I will uh, talk to you next time with another review. So long.